change of plans. Instead of Mummy, we are going to tackle this new ride, see what it's all about. Now I hear that it's pretty much an exact copy of the one in Hollywood. But you know, we have to experience it for ourselves if I'm really gonna judge the ride. So, time to put our judging faces on, see how good this ride really is. Now I have only seen the first two Fast and Furiouses. I'm not that big of a fan of them to be honest, but so far, looking out here and listening to it, liking the theming so far, you know me, theming means everything to me. Alright, let's take a gander on the inside. Oh yeah, Aaron would love this part. For all you car maniacs out there, there's one person in particular that I'm friends with. You probably love this garage right now. All right, I'm gonna put you away for a second. Need to get my pass for the express. Man, it feels, it feels like I'm in auto motion again. I'm actually digging that one. Now I'm probably not gonna get a lot of the references that are here. Got a lot of stuff over here. to the family room. My name is Pat. This is where me and those guys on the wall, as you see, even the guy with the tight shirt. This is where we chill and take our breaks out of lawn day and racing and acting a fool. And everybody can just take one big step forward for me. All right, I like it, I like it. Right now we're waiting on Mia's call because she wanted to talk to you guys before she sent you off to your party. And trust me, you guys are gonna have a great time. Everybody ready to party? Yeah. It's like nine in the morning, you guys are crazy. Just keep coming in, I wish I was you guys. Keep coming in for me, guys. Oh, there she is. What's up, Mia? Hey, Pat. I see our party goers have arrived. Yeah, they just got here. Hey, everybody. I'm Mia, Dom's sister. Well, another race just wrapped, and it looks like my brother won another car for his collection. Honestly, I don't know why anybody challenges him. Well, we're meeting up at Sullivan's Garage for the after party, and while Tej works on your rides, you guys enjoy the break room. My brother calls this the family room. Dom says he doesn't have friends, he has family. And the faces you see on these walls are our family. When I'm in this room, I feel like we're all together again. So, welcome to our family. She's so sweet. Hey, my brother Tej, what's up? We chat with Mia right now. All right, all right. What's up, Mia? Hey, Tej, just welcoming these good people to our family. How are their rides coming along? The rides are ready to roll out and roll out in style. All right, I'll let Dom know. You guys have fun at the party. Bye, Mia. All right, Mia. All right, Pat. Let's get these people on their way. Send them over to the war room. All right, kids. Peace. Peace. Lots of people. Hey, Pat. What is this for? Pat. What's up, man? What is this? For why? Get here for the party. At nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the party. Oh. Okay, thanks, Pat. Hey, you got this. I got it, I got it. Hey guys, welcome to the war room. My name's Jamie. This is Mitesh with all his tech magic. I'm his assistant. Today's so his first day. He left me by myself alone, but don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I just don't do well from the crowd. 
Wow, it's because of that ball. Hey, Ty. Jamie. Yeah. The buses are here. Great. Can I send all these people on their way up to the loading dock? Stop all, y'all. I got this, Jamie. Dom, what up? Touch. Just got a heads up from Ops. The FBI is about to raid your location. Again? Man, they always ruining our fun. It gets worse. How? They're leading Owen Shaw right to your door. Of course. Shaw? That cockroach we beat down in Spain? What's he got to do with this? Nothing yet. Great. And let's keep it that way. Too early for that. Get those people on those buses. You need to start plugging out right now. I am. And get that turbo truck ready. I'm sending Lenny there to pick it up. Well, I'll text it for you. I'm on it. Why not? Hobbs needs our help. He needs our team. Spread the word. But keep it in our family. Who that's you guys? And keep it quiet. Don't we'll keep it real quiet. Don't tell no one what we're doing, okay, guys? Who well, Hobbs calling? It's Hobbs. I know. Hobbs, I'm my there. man. What up? You do you. Sorry, Brother Taj. No time for chit chat. <laughs> I just sent you a brief on FBI agent Novak. Has Toretto filled you in? Yeah. He wants us to get everybody over to the party at Sullivan's. Sounds like a plan. That party is a ready-made diversion. Uh, Keep it going. We need to discuss how you're going to get all those civilians out of there without tipping off the FBI. All of them. Okay, hold on. Let me get everybody squared away, and we'll talk offline. That's a lot of Copy them. Copy that, Tej, and let everybody know. Shut off your cell phones. Right. We don't want Shaw tracking your locations. Yeah, turn off those cell phones. We don't want that. Okay, Jamie. Yes. You heard the man. I heard. It's about to go to a whole nother level. I see. Send everybody to the loading dock. Okay, but Tej. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard the man. Fast and Furious Supercharged. It's like the exit is right where Disaster's entrance used to be. Here it is, my official opinion of Fast and Furious Supercharged after my first ride. If you're a diehard fan, you will love it. If you're just a casual person like me, it's basically a one-time ride. I am, the theming is wonderful and great, but uh, yeah, the ride itself is really underwhelming. All right, so now is the time where I tell you guys what the real purp what the real purpose we are here for. We are here because we are going to pay a tuition to enter the Dave School. Yes, that is the reason why we're here. We're here to pay for school. Fun times. Her name is Linda. We are going to be meeting her by the entrance to Rip Ride Rocket, and from there she will take us into the back lot and we'll basically walk to the school, pay there, and uh, just tour around the school a bit. Alright, so she said that she would be meeting us over here. Hopefully this is correct because she said the entrance to the Rip Ride Rocket in her email. And this is the entrance, so... Oh. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be here or not yet, or whatever. Think this is going to be the place? Well, I guess we just chill and wait, see what happens. Alright guys, we found Linda. She was kind of standing over here when we thought that she'd be like, be right at the gate over there. Well, that's alright. It's a good thing Dad and I were kind of walking around keeping our eyes out to try to find her, which we did. So right now what's going to happen is that she's going to take us into the back lot and base, I'm pretty sure just do exactly what she did last time when we were here is give us a tour of the school because the school is actually in one of these sound stages back here, which is freaking awesome. And yeah, so it looks like we're going to come up by the... Uh, gate here over by Jimmy Fallon or what she used to be Twister. Yeah, we're gonna come up right over Yeah, that's where we're going All right guys, obviously I cannot record in the back lot I probably can't film in the school either so this is where I'll leave you and I'll see you guys when I come back out All right guys, we just got back from 
the Dave's school in the back lot. We came back pretty much the way we just came in. And yeah, oh my god, so much information. I, can, I can't even fathom on just how much it is. So basically for those of you who have no idea what this school is or does, it, the Dave School is a synonym for digital animation and visual effects. And this school is renowned for having graduates go like practically straight into work, getting working on movies. They have posters all over the walls of famous movies they've done, like Jurassic Park, Star Wars, uh, Harry Potter. Uh, they, I know one of you guys particularly was watching. They did uh, the Jimmy Neutron movie. Some graduates worked on that, and just so much stuff. So that business is taken care of. We paid for it. We did the little tour so my mom knows basically what's all going to happen, what the three blocks are, how the thing, how the school's going to work, and basically what I'm going to be doing for 12 months. So now, from here on, we still need to go to the apartments to get that all figured out. See the ri rip rides like going crazy behind me. But yeah, man, give, going to this place is going to be very beneficial. You get a pass to the backstage. You can basically have free roam. You basically get, for going to this school, you get all the benefits of as if you were a cast member. So you get full access to the backstage, full access anywhere. You get to access the uh, cast members' kitchens and all that stuff for like food. And I don't know, I could go on and on. I'm going to move here. Some people are trying to get shade, I guess. I could just go on and on and on about that place. But yeah, I, I think I'll leave a link to the school's website down below in the description. So if any of you guys are about my age or like just about to graduate high school and are thinking of like, you know, what you might want to do if you want to get into this like film industry, animation, visual stuff. If any of you guys are interested in that, I'd highly give this place a recommendation. Now, of course, I don't know what it's actually like to be a student yet, yet, but just based on the location itself, I mean, it's in the back lot of freaking Universal Studios. How much cooler can that get? Anyway, guys, I'm kind of rambling on at this point. Obviously, all the details, if you're, interest, if you're interested in learning more about it, will be in the link below. That'll take you to the website. But yeah, I think... Apart from the apartments, from now on, it's just a typical vacation. So, I will see you guys in the next destination.